रोल ऑफ टेलिंग फैक्टर इन एच पी एल सी एंड जी सी एनालिसिस इन दिस सेशन यू विल लर्न वॉट इज टेलिंग फैक्टर वॉट इज इट्स रोल इन क्रोमोटोग्राफी एनालिसिस लाइक एच पी एल सी एंड जी सी वॉट आर द फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग टेलिंग फैक्टर वॉट इज इट्स एक्सेप्टेंस क्राइटेरिया नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू फार्मा नॉलेज फोरम आई एम डॉक्टर प्रमोद आई प्रोवाइड ए स्किल बेस्ड लेक्चर ऑन फार्मा एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स लाइक एनालिटिकल मेथड डेवलपमेंट एनालिटिकल मेथड वैलिडेशन इम्प्रोटिक कंट्रोल स्ट्रेटी कायरल सेपरेशन जेनोटॉक्सिसिटी द फी फॉर सच लेक्चर इज मच लेस देन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट यू हैव टू ओनली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड लाइक द वीडियो टेलिंग फैक्टर Telling factor or USP telling is denoted by T. Telling factor is one of the widely used system suitability parameter used in the chromatography analysis. It tells about the shape or symmetry of the peak. Let us discuss a chromatogram containing three peaks: peak one, peak two, peak three. In peak one, there is a deformity from the front side of the peak. If such type of phenomena occurs in the peak, it is said that fronting in the peak. In peak three, there is a deformity from the tail of the peak. If such type of phenomena occurs in the peak, it is said that tailing in the peak. Now coming to peak two. Peak two is symmetrical, and such type of peak is called ideal peak. Now question is, can a chromatographer get ideal peak? in all condition the answer is no now question is how much telling is acceptable i am going to discuss in the next slide telling factor is defined as the distance from the front edge of the peak to the back edge divided by distance from the front edge to the center line with all distances measured at 5% of the maximum peak height it is calculated by the following formula telling factor is equal to x plus y divided by 2x x plus y is the total distance x and y are the peak half width at 5% of the peak x is the front half width y is the back half width acceptable limit or telling factor at its impact on chromatography analysis telling factor up to 1.5 is usually okay for chromatography analysis but in some of the cases more than or equal to 2 is also acceptable with proper justification for example in alkaline molecules or macro molecules like erythromycin clarithromycin erythromycin clathrate it is difficult to achieve symmetrical peak in that case telling factor two or more than two can also be acceptable but justification must be mentioned in the method higher telling factor is not good for any method hence try to achieve as low as possible since when telling factor will be high more components cannot be separated on the column let us consider a chromatogram containing five peaks in this case all five peaks are 
symmetrical and hence for each pit tailing factor will be less than 1.5 but in some of the cases peak like this is also obtained peak like this is also obtained and it is very difficult to achieve the sharp peak or symmetrical peak in that condition tailing factor more than 2 can also be acceptable but justification must be mentioned in the method development report factors affecting tailing factor shape of the molecule hold symmetrical and sharp peak tailing factor is always less than 1.5 but for broad or unsymmetrical peak tailing factor may be more than 1.5 hence we can say that tailing factor is inversely proportional to the shape of the peak column efficiency on increasing column efficiency tailing factor is decreased on decreasing column temperature tailing factor is increased hence we can say that tailing factor is inversely proportional to the column efficiency column temperature on increasing column temperature tailing factor is decreased on decreasing column temperature tailing factor is increased hence we can say that tailing factor is inversely proportional to the column temperature buffer concentration in mobile phase on increasing buffer concentration in mobile phase tailing factor is decreased on decreasing buffer concentration in mobile phase tailing factor is increased hence we can say that tailing factor is inversely proportional to the buffer concentration in the mobile phase nature of the molecule some of the molecules like basic molecules or macro molecules like erythromycin or azithromycin it is difficult to get symmetrical peak in that case tailing factor more than 1.5 is also acceptable hence we can say that tailing factor depends upon the structure of the molecule injection volume tailing factor is directly proportional to the injection volume mobile phase viscosity tailing factor is directly proportional to the mobile phase viscosity nature of the diluent tailing factor is also depend upon the nature of the diluent ph tailing factor also depends upon the ph this is all about the session i hope if you have enjoyed the session for any question related to this lecture you can write in the comment section in next session i am going to discuss fronting symmetry factor and asymmetry factor thank you